Congratulations on your pregnancy and thank you for choosing Next Biosciences to store your baby stem cells. First of all, let's go through the contents of the collection kit so that you are familiar with it. Number one, this is the Net Cells Collection Kit. You may have already received the collection kit or you will be receiving it shortly. Number two, when you open the collection kit, you will see that there are two documents at the top of the open box. The birth identification form needs to be completed by the doctor after the birth of the baby, as it requires crucial information on the baby's delivery and the health of the mother. It is important to make sure that all sections are completed. Please take note of the section on the baby's details, the hemodilution and the maternal blood draw sections to be completed by your doctor, as well as where your doctor needs to sign. The maternal health questionnaire may be completed before the birth of the baby. It is based on the mother's health. However, if there is anything to note about the health on the father's side, it can be recorded in the comments box. It is important that this document is signed and dated. Number three, once the doctor has done the collection, it is the parent's responsibility to ensure that the box has been packaged correctly. We will send you a video that explains the collection kit packing process. The blue cord blood sticker is found in your kit and needs to be placed on the blood bag once the collection has been done. The cord blood collection bag is sterile and may not be opened before the collection takes place. Once the sample has been collected, packaged and all the documents have been completed and signed, everything will be placed in the collection kit box and the box will be placed inside the courier bag where it will remain at room temperature until the courier arrives to collect the sample. Please keep the label on the outside of the bag to hand to the courier. Net Cells Collection Kit What is inside the box? A. The cord blood collection bag is a sterile bag, which is not to be opened prior to collection. It will be opened onto a sterile tray in theatre and is what your doctor will use to collect the umbilical cord blood. It is a 250 ml bag and an ideal collection is between 100 to 150 ml. B. The cord tissue collection tube is a tube filled with saline solution which keeps the cord from drying out. Ideally we need 10 to 15 cm of umbilical cord to be placed in this tube. If you chose to bank cord blood only, this will not be in your collection kit. C. The maternal blood test tubes pack contains four blood tubes in it and everything needed for the nurse to do the blood collection. Ideally, upon booking yourself into the hospital, you can ask a nurse to call Ampath to come and do the collection for you to avoid it being forgotten after birth. It is imperative that the nurse gives you the tubes back and that you keep them with you as they need to be placed in the kit and return to Next Biosciences with the cord blood and tissue sample. D. The silver foil bag contains a Ziploc bag with a gel pack and absorbent cloth inside. The cord blood bag, cord tissue tube and the packet of maternal blood tubes will be placed between the gel pack, into the Ziploc bag and then into the silver foil bag. This is to ensure that the sample is kept at the correct temperature when it travels from the hospital to the laboratory. 5. There are several important things to note including A. Your unique client number and mother's name will be recorded on the side of the box where the collection kit number and expiry dates are found. B. Each of the components of the collection kit will be labelled with your unique client registration number, the mother's name and her ID or passport number to ensure traceability. C. There is a parent's checklist on the lid of the collection kit should you get stuck at any stage and not know what to do next. We also have a packing the collection kit box video for you to watch to ensure it has been packaged correctly before sending the box back to the laboratory. D. Please ensure that the collection kit is kept at room temperature and not placed in the fridge. Number six, once everything is ready for collection, you will then give us a call on 084-664-4646 to notify us so that we can arrange for the courier to collect. This number can be found on the top of the Nessals collection kit. However, we recommend saving it onto your phone now. Now that you're familiar with your kit, place it by your hospital bag so that you do not forget it on the big day. When you arrive at the hospital, please remind your gynae and the hospital staff 
that you are going to collect stem cells and give them the collection kit box. If you have any queries along the way, please contact us and we will gladly assist you.